Hey up and welcome to Callum's Corner. Right, this is a video that I did not want to have to make, but it's become abundantly clear that it is needed. Uh, the education system, common sense is failing. Um, I've had my fair share of run-ins with the feminists, you know, the feminazis and the social justice warriors. However, on this, I am on the ladies' side. So this goes out to all the men and the boys who watch my corner. It is time to complete your education because there is a massive group of lads out there by the looks of things who are being rapey little spasmoids. So we need to alter your behaviour and just teach you what is acceptable and what's not. I mean, I've been reading this coming out in the papers for the last week or two, it's ridiculous. And today, Kevin Bloody Spacey, it turns out, has done it as well. It's worse with Kevin Bloody Spacey, actually, because not only is he abusing, it was nonsense. It was nonsense as well with a 14 year old lad. Unbelievable, one of my heroes, you know, American Beauty, House of Cars, super. Per actor. Doesn't even matter now, he's a nonce. It's disgusting. And if you see this statement he's come out with today, oh, sorry I'm a nonce, by the way, I'm coming out as gay, so celebrate that. No, we're not going to celebrate that, you dirty little spasmoid. What you did was disgusting. Oh, and, and it's not just him. It's not. I'm most surprised about him, but the other two big fat blokes as well, is it Harvey Weinstein and James Toback? Exactly the same. So you need to look for patterns here. Both of them massively fat. Now, I don't know whether it's because their options are reduced as they've got fatter and they've been forced, well not forced, no one's forced to be abusive, but they've become more inclined to be this way because they can't get women normally. I don't know, but that's something to watch out for. Don't get yourself get so fat that you can't get a woman normally. Um, the stuff they've done, obviously rape every single time is disgusting, should never be done, should never be done. However, there seems to be blurred boundaries as well. Um, James Tobok especially apparently was robbing his erection onto women. What are you doing? Um, I can only think that the, the boundaries have got blurred because of dry humping. Now, dry humping is a consensual and wonderful thing done between two consenting partners. However, it's not dry humping if she's not pushing her genitals back into you. If you're just robbing your erection onto her, you know, through your trousers. That is, you're just like a dog. You're just humping away. That's not consensual and it's not acceptable. Um, what else? In fact, I'm not even gonna go through each thing individually. I'm gonna teach you an exercise that I use to make sure I, I would never do that to a woman, but just to make sure, you know, double safety, dead man switch kind of thing. Right, what you do, when you are with a woman, you need to imagine yourself as the most unattractive person in the world to them. Obviously, you know, this doesn't take a lot of imagination for me, but you might be more handsome than me. Um, what I do is I imagine that I look to them the way Gemma Collins looks to me. Um, now, again, it's not sexist or anything. It's not just because she's massively fat. Um, it's because of her greed um, and just her personality as well as the um, so I imagine that I look like Gemma Collins. Uh, if this is if I'm with a really attractive woman, I'll probably think of how the way Gemma Collins looks when she's eating. To me, um, ugh, can't stomach it. So I imagine myself as that, and I think, God no! If if you know if it's Gemma Collins, I wouldn't even want her near me. I wouldn't want her to touch me. So obviously, I don't do that. Um, you know, and that way, you are so inclined the other way to not be inappropriate. She will actually have to give you an incredibly strong signal for you to you know. For it to progress to a boom boom situation or even just to get even slightly romantic you know she will literally have to tell you she wants you and that there is consent that's what you need to be doing because i don't think that i'm just disappointed to be honest with you you really let the lad side down you really let the lad side down and if you behaved inappropriately you should probably apologize and not just try and come out or anything just apologize if you've done wrong but right, that's it these are the lessons learn them and learn them well because i do not want to have this chat again you know i'm very busy at the moment i'm so many videos i want to bring you and i've got the bloody sniffles and i've got a pile of bloody washing up just sitting there next to me in the kitchen Oh, that's a different issue. Anyway. I'm angry at my mum because she should have done it. I cooked dinner, she should have washed up. It was a waste of bloody money, that hip replacement. The NHS would have just saved that money. Ridiculous. Right, okay, that's the end of the video. I'll be back with you tomorrow, hopefully with Dan Strong or maybe some other video. I've got a bakery battle starting, uh, which is a little bit like Chicken Connoisseur, uh, but not quite so rolled. Um, 
I'll be going basically to bakeries. Greg's will be the landmark, you know, the bench, the benchmark, and I'll be comparing other, you know, local and non-local bakeries to them and scoring them out of 10 on their essential items. It should be good. Right, okay, I'm going. I'm chatting now and I'm angry. Yeah, I shouldn't be. No, in fact, I'm taking that smile back. This is the end.